Hey everyone, as we start this new trading week, we need to be aware that NVIDIA is set their report earnings on Wednesday, the 28th of uh, August, and that's going to take place after the close of trading. So I'd like to accomplish two quick things in this video. First of all, a little bit of perspective in terms of how the stock has acted and where it is, and then some, some, some specific levels that we are focusing on uh, from an algorithmic perspective that have been calculated with AI to see uh, how those might shape up. In full disclosure, I do not have a trading position on an NVIDIA here through the numbers. I think that's not a very good reward to risk, but I am very much looking forward to potentially putting on a trade um, after the numbers are reported. So without any further ado, let's look at the big picture. And as you can see here on this chart, this is a longer term or at least a 12 18 month chart of Nvidia, you can see that just like any stock that's in a hyper growth mode, it has had a few up gaps after earnings. So for example, it gapped higher uh, right there where the green arrow, the lower green arrow is the one I'm moving um, at uh, the quarterly results reported in February of 2023. Uh, then it gapped higher meaningfully uh, after that again in the following quarter in May. And then it actually did have another up gap in, um, in February. So February of the following year, i.e. this year, 2024, after earnings. And if that weren't enough, it actually had another up gap in the uh, May, uh, May quarter of, of this year. So that is four up gaps after earnings reports, which is actually quite unusual for a stock Again, we live in a in I think it's it's a giant chart chasing bubble we live in. That's not a valuation call in the stock, but the fact that a stock like this, even if it's fundamentally potentially justified, can move like this is not something that before the advent of algorithmic trading and you know uh, Robinhood accounts would have been very reasonable. And I think that is going to come to 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 come back to for, to, to to fruition. Um, however. It doesn't mean the stock is to fall apart from here. What I'm trying to show you is that historically speaking, when a stock is in a big run like this, you get maybe two, three up gaps after earnings, but four is very, very long in the tooth. And there's another chart here that I, I don't have it here right now, but I showed several months ago, which talked about the stock being very extended above its 200 week moving average. And every time it got that amount over the 200 week, which is where it still is today, the stock tends to stall. So this is not to say the stock is a bad company, has to fall apart, none of that. It could, but the stock could correct, but it, it's more a call that the stock may stall even if it rallies after earnings. So let's have a look at it, uh, where we are in terms of specific levels that we are following. So in terms of specific levels, there is a very important level around the, you can see the support zone. This is, this is calculated using AI uh, and algorith algorithmic analysis uh, technology. So that support zone is somewhere between 7280 and 7834. So from the point where I'm recording this video here right now, might be a different time when you watch this, that is a lot lower. That's like 36 to 40% lower. I'm not saying the stock has to fall down there. I'm simply saying if the stock were to see weakness after earnings, if, that would be a level to watch. If the stock breaks above resistance, and resistance at this point is very simple, it's just the all-time highs, right? Um, it's kind of clear skies ahead, but I would then watch how the stock acts over the ensuing days or so after earnings to see how much institutional investors are willing to buy it up there. But just keep in mind that level down there, to me, that's more important than the one up here, because if we break past resistance, it's blue skies, but then again, watch for consolidation possibly after that. So. Those are levels I'm watching for. If the stock starts to correct to the downside after earnings, it could be quite violent. Um, if it starts breaking to the upside, it could be quite violent, right? So either way, there's going to be some, 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 some opportunities here after earnings, and, and it's going to be reflected in the broader market as well. And a lot of this has to do with momentum. And this week, we're going to look at the market through the lens of momentum once again, and we'll show you how using our TST trend or momentum indicator, we can find momentum moves in the stock market in the futures markets in in the in the alternative assets market uh, in all time frames whether it's a daily chart a five minute chart 
fascinating and really important. I think everyone needs to have a handle on 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 momentum because markets these days are all about momentum because we live in a different world in terms of AI and, and, and algorithmic trading, which really rules the day. So hopefully you'll join us in this week's research call on momentum and how it is and why it exists and how we can take it and use it to our advantage. Until then, be well.